single. Um, anyway, so um, forgive me. I mean, I don't mean forgive me, um, but um, what I mean is um, I am embarrassed on wearing the same grey top. Um, I'm not actually always wearing the same grey top, by the way. I really do like grey kind of male stuff. But this is the top that I um, tried to dye in, so, um, and it's been a bit cold lately, so it's been quite good as a pyjama top. And, uh, but it seems to go well with the smell of the laundry powder that I tried to fucking top myself with at the very last minute. Uh, I've been doing laundry today and soap and towels. So, um, it's getting like so, um, uh, Monty Python again. That I'm wondering if it might be worth staying alive for. I, I just don't, I, 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 I don't know what we're doing. And I'm really struggling to think of any punishment they could deal out to me. I can't, they, they, they don't even seem to know. Uh, like, okay, so yesterday, so I'll just repeat what I wrote yesterday before I got all a failure on it. Um, hi Olivia, I've diagnosed fatigue, cognitive disability, stress and trauma problems, piling in mystery nurse conversation into my day that early before a mystery court appointment is not possible. It will be rushed and at 30 minutes, including transition time and sensibly inadequate. I've offered to show you my diagnoses and you haven't replied, so I think the nurse and I can go over those are more open and relaxed and at any other time, probably with a support person for me if I can find one. I'll not be doing a lot of re-re-re-re-explaining. The nurse can look at my records and ask other fine questions. We can then decide who else the nurse needs to consult with to advise the judge. Um, can you arrange for the nurse to visit me at home my day leading up to the list hearing? And let me know in advance what specific topics should be covered by the visit. So my method is to what the site to be hearing consists of. The answer is insane. Insane. Someone else needs a site review. My alarm bells are ringing now, but I know now, now that I know that no site review is occurring, and I can't imagine that anything suitable could be reviewed at that hearing. I refer the court again to the Human Rights Act. The court may not override the law of two deliberately or negligently or disadvantage a defendant in this manner. If you doubt this fucking great crimes act, judges are beholden to the law, creating case law doesn't allow for abuse of disabled people during the pretrial processes. I look forward to the communication of a nurse as an appointment day and time and other relevant details I'm entitled to under secondary legislation that at least the nurse ought to be aware of. My time is my own, I am innocent and pleading legally. Um, and again, what I mean is, of course, um, the, the, the innocence or guilt is a legal topic, but what I mean is innocent or pleading guilty, um, that's what I mean by legally. So as, as it stands, I mean, it's, it's all very Schrodinger, um, but, you know, Schrodinger hasn't opened the box yet, so... Um, and Schrodinger didn't impose this rule on the cat, but um, but the, but the matter of guilt is 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 a default to innocence um, until you open the box, right? My time is my own. I am innocent and pleading legally. I will show a courtesy to the court where it shows it to me. I'll allow tomorrow at a pinch. And of course will make myself available on the other days leading up to the list hearing because someone has got to lead the way being reliable and reasonable. I expect to get this information before PM tomorrow, Wednesday 28 January, and it is Wednesday 28th, although it's um, quarter to 11. The first not communicated before 2pm Thursday. I'm not attending the mystery hearing on Tuesday. It will be illegal. Sincerely, Caitlin.
and then um, at 9.45, so an hour ago, Olivia wrote back, Kia Caitlin, and she quoted my question, can you arrange for the nurse to visit me at home on a day leading up to the list hearing and let me know in advance what specific topics will be covered by the visit? Um, she doesn't sound like a bad sort, to be honest, but who the fuck knows? I don't know, just incompetent as usual, um, any government staff. But generally people, I mean, honestly, I think I'm totally justified. Like, narcissists are known for being really scathing and contentious of others, but that's when it's unjustified. This is totally justified. Like, I just can't believe the fucking incompetence. Like, the illegal criminal incompetence that the court just disseminates. Like, fucking silly string. So she says, unfortunately, no, the court liaison nurses do not provide court-directed screenings at home. Um, right, so it's a screening, okay. You're, but what the screening was for is flabbergasting. These assessments are directed by the judge when they think someone may not understand the court process. That's a medical issue, not understanding court processes, psychiatric, mental health. It's quite weird. The questions will be regarding your understanding of the court process and whether you understand the ch your charges, your plea options, the consequences on any plea, and the roles of the court officials, i.e. judge, prosecution, and lawyer, although I understand you don't have one. Why is, uh, why is this a psych screening? How is this a psych screening? If you decline to attend the nurse, if you decline to attend, the nurses will inform the judge that they have been unable to complete the screening requested by the court. You are under no legal obligation to engage in the screening assessment. Then why do they say it's court ordered? Oh my god, oh my god. Like, they're withholding information about my rights from me. However, if you choose not to partake in the assessment at 9.30am, you are still required to attend your hearing on the same day. Uh, she's very confused. As the judge will determine the next steps for your case. I've already had a trial date set. The judge may issue a warrant for a, to arrest for non appearance or hearing. She doesn't read a fucking letter, right? I replied, I'm well aware that arrest warrants are issued for non-attendance. That's what suicide is for. It's for the court appearance, considering it was, in your own words, to review the psych assessment, and no psych assessment has taken place due to court incompetence, then please enlighten me as to the content of the hearing. Please. What is it about? I've had three case review hearings. I had a trial set for 12th Feb, and today's 28th Feb. I had a trial set for 12th Feb, which I discharged myself from hospital to attend, and found it wasn't a trial or anything I could identify. So what on earth is court doing? Does anyone know? Caitlin. P.S. No, I'm not seeing a nurse. I want an amicus curiae. Of course I don't understand court processes. And the judge can't diagnose a mental disorder from obscure encyclopedic knowledge gaps. Yes, it is obscure. Everyone knows about court, but that doesn't mean that everyone knows their way through the court processes you need to be legally trained for that or a frequent flyer for fuck's sake honestly honestly of course i don't know that's my whole point that's why i'm saying you've got to obey the fucking human rights act and you've also got to give me an amicus curiae or at least allow me to fucking apply for one And then, in my typical ADHD style, I followed up with three or perhaps four further emails. 
I said, please, Olivia, if court can't discover what it wants my attendance for, it can waste my time over a tally link. I'm physically very ill and have collapsed in court once already. This behaviour is criminal and might equals right. But suicide vaporises might. Huh. Um, oh yeah, so there's another email which was just me sending a copy of my online report which wasn't, doesn't have my um, case file number, but um, just to remind anyone not to call the police to do a welfare check. It's honestly just, <laughs> I was talking to a neighbour about, um, who's about my age, we were talking about how we used to have gollywogs and um, stuff like that as kids in the early 80s and um and I said did you have that book Little Black Sambo and she said um yes I do it's, it's called something else now it's, it's called Sam and the Tigers and I'm like but does he still have the big lips like you can't just rename it and still have this um black and white minstrel looking um you know black faced looking boy but anyway whatever um I was, we were just uh, we were reminiscing about it and basically he gets the tigers who are chasing him to run around and chase each other until they basically like disintegrate into ghee um which his mother used to make pancakes and um the family ate them and i feel like this is going to happen to court and police if they keep chasing the tails like this <laughs> um. <laughs> oh, I'm getting my Jane Austen on here. Um, uh, so my final email is: um, <laughs> if no reasonable process pleases the court, I will sit on my sick bed and await the Eastern Police Unit. I will have with me copies of the criminally insane court correspondence and my medical certificates with which I will update my police report. I have a case file number now, so that any duty lawyer can access the bonkers records. I'm very tired all the time and don't much care where I sleep. A police cell will be fine. In the event this faulty Towers episode is scheduled to air, I will make sure the relevant information is passed on. Caitlin, the only sane in the village. <laughs> Um, I am amusing myself again this morning, but I'm very, very concerned, and, like, the problem is, is that it doesn't matter, like, they don't hold themselves to anything, they just say anything, and then they do anything, and so it could be that when I turn up, it's not to find out where my case is going next, they'd already decided that, it was a trial that ended up being a complete nothing, like a nothing, I don't even know what it was. Um, so it could be that if I turn up to another, what is signalled to be a case of you hearing, it actually turns out to be a trial. Like that's my concern, that, that is my concern, is that I end up going to a trial and no one will take responsibility and the judge will get angry with me for not um, reading any of their adult minds. Like that's the problem. So I am still deciding if it's worth my while. Well, the thing is that, you know, when people say, oh, you're still going, you're still surviving, it's like, no, staying alive is a passive process. It, 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 I, I think that's a, re I think that will be a revolutionary statement to a number of people. It's not, being alive is not like cycling, where you have to keep pedaling to keep going. It's not like, like, life is on cruise control. It's not like a, a helicopter where you've got to keep, you know, if you just, like, collapse, the helicopter's going to crash. But if you collapse in a plane, you know, you can flip on autopilot. It won't necessarily miss Mount Erebus, but, it, um, you know, the thing is that, that flying a plane can, is reasonably passive. It's, it's a pretty passive, it's pretty passive, right? It's pretty passive. And so people think that because you're alive, you're 
still fighting and still trucking. I am not. Uh, if I had to do anything active to stay alive, I wouldn't be doing that. Um, you know, like, I would love just to let the whole machine just grind to a halt. I, I, I would, but it doesn't work that way. You've actually got to um, put effort into into, stay, into dying. And it's an extraordinary amount of effort, and I've already expended extraordinary amounts of effort, and I'm, to be honest, quite rung out by the whole process. I really want a gun. I really do. I really do. 